What's going on, YouTube? I'm back again with another video for y'all, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we're going to get right back into it. Now, this video is a quick video explaining to y'all how to hide your credit card usage with this specific method, all right? So, for the people that don't know, it's two dates that you need to know when it comes to every single credit card, all right? It is the due date, which is what most people know, and then you have the statement date, which is what most people don't know. All right, so the due date is just when the minimum payment is due. That's all. So you don't get a late payment, right? But the statement date is when it reports whatever balance is on that card to your credit report. All right, so for y'all that don't know, you want your balances always to report anywhere between like two to ten percent of the uh, of the um the credit overall credit limit. All right, so if the card is a thousand dollars, you want that um card to report anywhere between like. 20 to 100 dollars all right now the statement date j just how the due date reports once a month the statement date also reports once a month so it only reports to your credit once a month so you go high your utilization this way right here all right so set your credit card set the due date to automatic payment right auto pay on the due date uh minimum payment due do minimum payment due on the due date and then the statement date you need to figure out what your statement date is so you can call the number on the back of the card check your statements in your app check credit karma it's all there right so you can see your um uh, your statement date of when it reports to your actual credit report all right a few days before this statement date you want to knock that card down anywhere between two to ten percent all right and then you want it to report to your credit all right. Once it reports to your credit, it's not going to report into the same time the following month. So within that 30 day time frame. Right. Or like 28 days or something like that, you can max that card out if you need to or if you want to. You can max it out because it's not going to report on your credit until the following month, the same exact time. All right. So. Figure out y'all statement dates because this is a good, easy method that y'all can use to start hiding y'all credit card usage. All right, because usage plays a big role into your credit score. So if your card is maxed out and it reports, your score is going to drop a lot. All right, if it reports at 2 to 10%, your score is going to go up, right? Or your score is going to be as high as it can be in that category, right? So know when y'all statement dates are because y'all statement dates are very, very important when it actually comes to your credit score. All right. Had that balance at two to ten percent at the time of that statement date, and y'all gonna be good to go. All right, but within that 30, I mean 28 day time frame around there somewhere, that's how you hide the usage because you can max that card out, and then as long as it's paid back down to two per ten percent, two to ten percent at the time of the following month, you solid. All right. Now, that's my quick video for today. Make sure y'all are on the play. Also, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and I'm going to see y'all in the next video.